Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Runaway Slave. I would like to give a big up to all my subs and supporters who like, comment, and share the videos. In addition, a special big up to all those who purchased my masterpiece, my book, The N Word is No Secret in the Service. Big up to you all. Let's cook. Okay, people. In the state of Maryland, Prince George's County to be exact, a young brother, a teacher by the name of Marquise White, he's being attacked by his community. And in addition, the white community being white people in the media, they decided to get all in it because they seen that it was a story that they can hop on. They're attacking him over his students, some female students in his class, taking out his braids or putting braids in his hair. But the district. It's wrong. One. Uh, you can get fired from that. No teacher should be touching another, uh, letting a student touch him, or should be letting, uh, uh, you know, that's just uh, inappropriate. Because if it was my daughter, I'd be up at the school. Those are reactions from some people we spoke with after this video of Marquise White getting his braids taken out by a group of students. That video has 7 million views on TikTok. The school district has not confirmed whether it is this specific video that they are looking at, but in the video, White says he uploaded it for clarification. The original video was part of a live stream, and that is where people became critical of the school teachers' interactions. Some, like those you just heard from, say it is a bit too intimate for a student-teacher interaction. Action. In the video, White says the student agreed to help him, adding that to him, building an authentic relationship with students is important. Now, that is a view shared by other people we spoke with and came to the teacher's defense. He ain't do nothing wrong. People been doing people here since, since ages. He ain't do nothing wrong. That's how the older people relate to the younger generation. From first glance, I personally think that the teacher is doing an outstanding job of bonding with his kids and making them feel safe. So that's just my opinion. Okay, now I get it. I don't see anything wrong with a parent's opinion saying, no, that's wrong. A parent saying, I'm critical of that. I wouldn't want my child to do that or whatever. I may go to the school and say something about it. Okay, I would, you know, a concerned parent, that's good. Okay, you have the right to say no. And I get it. I get that. You know, but all this talk about fire him, putting his young brother's head on the stick for something like that. You know, all these people going at him saying, oh, uh, fire him. He should lose his job. You know what I mean? He should lose his livelihood, you know, and his ability to earn because of this. Man, that's some devil stuff. But here's my problem with this. Here's my problem. In the same state, not too far from Prince George's County, Baltimore City, we have this. Uh, Matt Beagle here, a white man. I did a video on him recently. Matt Beagle, okay? He has students coming to his house. He's grooming them on TikTok. He's in school dancing. He has them in his car. And he's also in romantic relationships with these young brothers in the school, which eventually led to one black youth blowing another one away and taking his life, okay? Two black men gone. Two black men going, you can check the video I did on this channel about this dude right here. Now, where are all the white media outlets talking about this situation right here with this guy, uh, this white man, Matt Beagle? Yeah, they, if, if, if a Marquise White can make it to mainstream news, right, over some braids in the classroom, something that only takes a verbal by, you know, the school principal, maybe the vice principal, hey, look, we got to chill, you know, something like that. But we don't have... Matthew Beagle all over the news. This dude's got a mugshot, okay, in the same state. But they talking about Marquise White with some braids in class. The most you can do with that is say, is say nah, I don't approve of that. I don't want my daughter, you know, doing that. Okay, he shouldn't do it. That's it. That's it. But this Matthew Beagle, this pale warlock here, his, his community is not talking about him, but his community is talking about Marquise White. Marquise White's community going hard on him. The black community blowing him up. The white community jumping on it, piggybacking off of what they see that's hot, you know, in the black media. So they go ahead and do the story. But his white community, this Matt Beagle dude, they're not blowing him up. Some people really disgust me, man. They really disgust me. This dude right here 
in relationships? Has black students living at his house? Has black students using his vehicle, taking them to the scene to shoot and take the life of another student, causing all kinds of fitna and confusion in the lives of black youth to where two of them are gone. One of them is taken out of here, but they're not blowing Matthew Beagle up. And let me talk about this Marquise White situation again. OK, I don't think that Marquise White should have his students unbraiding his hair or doing his hair. You know, it may have been harmless. It may have been innocent. And there may have even been, like he said, parents who were OK with that, that even watch his TikTok. But for me, the way I see it, just for his own protection as a young black man or any uh, young uh, brother, you know, just don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Because as a black man, you don't want to get caught up in anything, you know, and you know that just because you didn't do it don't mean that you're not going to be guilty because p- public perception is going to make you guilty. OK, so I just wouldn't suggest that any young brother who has a job around students, mainly black uh, females or just females, period. I wouldn't suggest you do that for your own protection, because all it takes is one of these girls to say something, one of them to like you or something like that, one of them to get jealous of another girl thinking that you're paying her too much attention with helping her with her homework, you know, or something like that. You never know. You know, these students, these young girls are at an age that they may do something that they're not even understanding the totality of the damage that it may be because they're young. You know what I mean? So they may do something to destroy your life, not knowing what they're really doing, just thinking in their little, you know, jealous mind or whatever. You never know. So just to protect yourself, Marquise White, or any other black man, I wouldn't suggest that you do this for your own protection, bigger than anything else, okay? Now, that doesn't mean that I feel as though he should be fired or even suspended, just a verbal. Pull him in the office, hey, check this out. You know we have this violation against showing students' faces on TikTok or whatever it may be, even if their parents approve, whatever it may be, I don't know. And, you know, we just, you know, just to keep it keep it looking right, we don't want to do that, okay? I'm sure he would have said, Okay, I can dig it. I can dig it. You know what I mean? It may be an investigation behind it or something like that. I can dig it because of how big it got. They may say, okay, we want to talk to some of these girls in the school and see if there is any more inappropriate thing. Let's just see. You know, because students are going to talk and they're going to whisper, things like that. They're going to, they, They're not going to be able to hold it in if there's anything inappropriate going on. You know what I mean? You know how creepo teachers are. The kids are always going to talk about them and the parents will talk about them as well. So even if they went and looked into that, OK, they're not going to come up with anything. They're not going to come up with anything, you know. So a verbal, let them chill. That's it. That's it. See, the thing is, they don't want young black men in the classroom anyway. They don't want this particular image of a young black man who was teaching. OK, black youths. In a class, there's going to be a lot of hate. They do not want that. They don't want a young black man teaching black students that the youth can relate to. He may be telling them something positive, maybe paying them some attention, letting them do things that they want. He's a teacher. He's going to get a lot of hate. He's going to get a lot of hate. Okay. And recently they put out these headlines trying to make it, trying to switch this whole thing up, saying that uh, Marquise White is saying people are singling him out because he's attractive. You know, trying to make it look like he's saying, oh, y'all just like me. No, he that's not what he meant when he said that. He's saying that the video attracted people because he's a young black man, braids, he has tattoos, t- tattoos on his arms, he's in a classroom teaching. People are going to be attracted to that. He doesn't look like, you know, Joe Clark from Lean On Me. He's in a class, okay, you know, He's a teacher. People are going to be attracted to that. He's somebody who looks like he could possibly be some kind of a actor or a rapper or a young athlete or something. So people are going to be attracted to him in a video being that, oh, man, he's a teacher, which is good. Then they see the students braiding his hair or whatever, you know, and there's just a lot of bitter, jealous people out there who see that stuff and they just get upset and they see a way that they could turn this into something big. Okay. That's what they do. That's what a lot of people do. You know what I mean? Now, I never suggest that a young brother uh, do this, you know. Don't let students touch your hair. Okay, that's it. 
for your own protection. It's obvious that he felt as though it was innocent because he was recording it. He records these things quite often. Some of his uh, uh, students, parents even watched these videos. He felt no wrongdoing in it, okay? But I could see where somebody would say, nah, I don't approve of that. I don't approve of that. Okay, I get it. Maybe he has to be get a, a verbal from the principal and that's it. And yes, he's writing what he said. People sat back and make a big deal about that because they were attracted to that. You know what I mean? Then after the black media outlets and the black community blew this up to be a big deal, you know, the white man sitting back, you know, sitting back, being a master manipulator, seeing it, following the smaller media outlets. And then they just go ahead and then boom, they blow it up. And now they want to run it, which is absolute, which, which really pisses me off. OK, because they really don't want a black man in the classroom. They want to portray it as, you know, predatory or terrible. They don't want a black man in the classroom teaching the black youth. You know, but these same white media outlets, they're not talking about this, this pale warlock, this knuckle dragon beast, Matthew Beagle in Baltimore, 17 year old passed away from him creating confusion, all kinds of fitting and what he was doing, doing his sorcery on these students, shot by another youth, had students living at his house and stuff like that, driving his car to the scene to do these things. He was even arrested for it. He's got a mug shot. You know what I'm saying? He's got a mug shot. Matthew Beagle took a student to go shoot another student, allegedly, okay? And they say that he was just arrested for first degree murder conspiracy. White American man, Baltimore, Maryland. Teaches at Reginald F. Lewis High School in Baltimore, Maryland. His students, the ones, the victim and the one who did this, went to his school. Okay? Manipulating black youths to do things like this. The white media ain't put this out. Big story. These other black media outlets, they're not putting this out. Big story. They're not blowing this up. They're not blowing this up. You know what I'm saying? Two black young black men gone. They in relationships with this old knuckle dragging beast, this pale warlock. Yet they talking about Marquise White having braids taken out of his head. Something would you say, OK, you know what? That ain't right. That ain't cool. Don't do it. That's it. They're blowing it up to the point where the white media, you know, is now coming down on this young black man. You know what I'm saying? Baltimore City Department of Education, where is this at? There are plenty of teachers that know Matthew Beagle and black teachers who teach in the schools with Matthew Beagle. Why ain't they blowing that up? They don't have to do it directly. They could send this to somebody, blow it up. Nah, they're not doing that. This dude's got a mug shot. He was booked. He's in numerous videos with these students uh, prancing around, shaking his hind parts and things like that. They had his crib and everything, but they want to talk about Marquise White getting his hair braided. Who recorded it? Who where you can say, OK, that's wrong. I don't I don't approve of that. And that's it. I get it. If you don't approve of it, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't suggest he do it. You know what I'm saying? But this is just really messed up. He's a young black man who wants to teach. Probably could be the principal or something one day. Who knows, you know, what he could possibly do with the youth in Prince George's County or anywhere in the field of education. You know what? I, I hope that he could some kind of way monetize his video that got over seven million views. I hope some kind of way he can get a bag of money out of this. This is ridiculous, man. And you see, this is why people, black people who decide to teach, they know they're taking a the pay cut. You know, they decide to become teachers, you know. This is why they leave. This is why people like Marquise White and other teachers, black teachers, black women, black men, they they realize, you know what, man, I, I, I need to go ahead and be a corporate in, in, in a corporate real estate or something like that. You know, I need to go ahead and get up on the stock market, or, you know, getting getting a real getting some real, real money four or five times more than they would as teaching, because even though teaching is their passion, I can't deal with this nonsense no more. You know. I hope some kind of way. I hope he does stay as a teacher and continue to do that. Maybe he could start something, you know, on his TikTok. I don't know. Or another outlet where he can also 
generate more income while doing something positive. I don't know if this is, I don't even think that was about income there, but you know what? The way it's looking now, I hope this brother finds a way to monetize itself. This is messed up. Got the white media all up in it, but they letting this old pale warlock, Matthew Beagle, up in, in Baltimore, not far from there. He's running around with students at his crib, driving his car, blowing each other's beak off. Two of them gone. You know what I'm saying? And Marquise White, in one of the videos, the only thing, I, I seen a video of you crying, yo, chill, bro, don't cry. Don't, don't give these people the satisfaction of crying. That's what they want you to do. Don't do that. They don't got to see that because by doing that and showing that you really care about the situation, it's not going to change and it is not going to make these people do anything less. Don't do that. Keep your chest high, chin up, and keep it moving. Anyway, easy.